everywhere else that you're not going to get from punching that nine to five. You know, you're not going to eat the noodles in the udon shop in LA, you know, and stuff like that. So got to enjoy the ride and yeah, the experiences. Man, and the, yeah. Cause I don't know if there's one song that I can ever remember, but I'll, re- you know, that I'm just like, Oh, this song is this, this song is that. I don't care. But I do remember when I went with my buddy, you know, HD Ben Dope and his, his cousin, Julian, who's his cameraman and, and JD, who was his manager at the time. And we went to this udon shop in, LA and they eat like chicken wings. Like that's all they eat. And so like to watch their faces, like this is getting made in front of, and then they bring them out a big bowl of like curry udon and, and like, it was the best. Like I just still, those are the type of things that, that motivate me to say, you know what, this is fun to do. I want to keep doing this. I keep on having these experiences. Amazing. I love it. I, you may have even already answered my, my final question of, of the show, which I ask everybody. And I'm, I'm, I'm kind of testing a rebrand of this question, but it, the, the, the original question is, is, you know, looking back on your journey, was there something you'd want to say to your earlier self and be like, yo, Kevin, keep at that. It's going to get you where you want to go. Or maybe Kevin quit that. It's, it's holding you back. Or oh, yeah. you could rephrase it as, or you could rephrase it as like, yo, kids coming up right now, like, mm-hmm. here's, here's what I would recommend doing or not doing to, to get to find success. Well, if I, if I was really going back and I needed to tell myself something, it would be, you know, uh, it, it might be stay away from a specific person, but with that, that being aside, it's, it's like, do the hard stuff now and it'll be easier in the future. But if you do the easy stuff then, or you don't think then it makes it harder for you in the future. Um, so like things like, um, like it was really hard that I had kids early on, you know, in a situation when I wasn't ready to have them and from just being careless and that affected, you know, everything, scheduling, my mobility, you know, where can I be at, at what time, all those things I had to work around. I made it work, but you know, it would have been easier that way. So I, I do say that, like, not to say don't have kids, but, you know, really think about, you know, your support system and what you're able to do and maximize that. So don't add things to your plate while you're trying to get to where you want to be, you know, focus on getting there. And then once you're there, you know, then start adding these extra things to your plate, because the more, especially in this, with it's not guaranteed, the more you add to your plate while you're trying to pursue this, the more it's going to push you away from it. Mm-hmm. You know, and the more energy it's going to take to overcome that just to be at the same place as the person that doesn't deal with this, you know, and the person that wins in this game, like you said, are the ones that don't quit, but are also the ones that don't get outworked, you know, and if, if you get outworked because of things that are out of your control, that's the same as getting outworked with things that are in your control. Like there's no like, oh, well, yeah, he wasn't able to do it, but it was because of his kids. It's like, no, nah, he's not able to do it. So who's, who else can do this? Or, oh, he wasn't able to do it because he's dealing with, with something with this or, or that. It's like, people don't care. They, they don't care. Everybody's got a story. Everybody's got a sad, sob story. So you need to make sure that, you know, if you really want to do this, you stay focused, don't quit and try not to add too much um, extra outside stuff onto your plate before it's absolutely necessary. Yeah, I totally hear that. <laughs> it's, uh, you got to keep at it. It's still doable though. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no. And there's seasons for everything, right? There's like mm-hmm. when you're in your 20s and you're young and you can kind of work longer hours before and without it draining you as much, like 100%. that's when you do that, right? And when you're in your 30s or your 40s or whatever, mm-hmm. that's when you kind of hopefully are starting to reap the benefits. Like you said, you know, like you work right. hard at the beginning and now you can kind of not work as much but still be in the game, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, I'm tired. Just like, I'm tired. I'm 36. I'm tired. I'm tired. So when you're 20, and you got the energy, man. You get out there and do it. Get out there yes. and do it. Because you're going to yes. get tired. Get it get it while you're young, man. Totally. It doesn't go the other way. Right. <laughs> totally. I'm trying, to, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to figure out how to get more energy at 35. And uh, yeah. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. <laughs> There's illegal things you can do. but Yeah. No, no, no. It's not sustainable. Gotta get, we got gotta get back in the gym. That's, that's, that's right. where that's, that's the gym, where it's at. The gym's good for it. exercise. Yeah. Exercise is really important. Get you a skincare routine at night. That's important, too. Take care of your mm. skin. My girl, just, that's how you know if a girl really likes you. If she <laughs> makes you take care of your skin because she plans on looking at you for a while. Nice. Yep. So, All right. That's advice well, Advice taken. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely do not have a skincare routine. So maybe I'll look into that. Oh, trust me. When I, when I met my girl, she was, I, I used something called, it was like face soap. She's like, it says face soap on it. I was like, yeah, it's for your face. She's like, all right, come, come on. You know, she got me on all the stuff I needed to get. And it, it makes a big difference. It helps out a lot. All right. Cool. So th- things to think about. Makes you feel good about yourself too. All right. I like that. Yeah. Amazing. Well, Kevin, this has been an absolute blast to, to schmooze with you and 
tons of lessons here for for the people listening. You know, from the journey into into your approach to mixing and working with uh, labels, everything, the whole the whole situation. So I really appreciate you taking the time to do this and uh, spending some a uh, couple hours with me. For sure, thank man. you so much. Thank you for sitting through it. You know, yeah, pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> right, Absolutely, man. man. All right, be well. All right, take it easy. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of Secret Sonics. I hope you enjoyed this conversation as much as I did. If you've been digging the show, it would be awesome if you could share this episode or your favorite episode with a friend or two, and or leave a rating and review on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your podcatcher of choice. That's it for now. Have a great week. Take care and dig in. See you soon. Bye-bye.